Welcome back. So uh, you've returned after the first two units. That's wonderful. I, I'm beginning to think that maybe you're interested in this metadata thing, uh, which is really awesome because you're going to need some resolve to get through this unit. Um, I will warn you right up front. Uh, I believe that this unit is the most difficult of the course, the most technically demanding. Um, I wrote in the course description that a prerequisite for this course is a basic understanding of HTML, and this unit is why. In this unit, we're going to talk about how to build a metadata schema from scratch, not how to assign metadata to a resource, which of course is what we were talking about in the previous unit with Dublin Core, and a topic we'll come back to in future units when we get into other metadata schemas. We're going to talk about how to build a metadata schema from the ground up. Assigning metadata to a resource assumes that you already have a metadata schema in place, and we're going to talk about how to get that metadata schema in place in the first place. I will mostly be using Dublin Core as an example here because you're already familiar with it, and because Dublin Core is built using the technologies and according to the principles that we'll be getting into in this unit. Now, in order to build a metadata schema, there are three technologies that you need to be able to use. First is XML, the extensible markup language. Second are document type definitions, DTDs, which actually are also XML. And the third is the resource description framework, which is also XML. And we'll get into those three things in more depth as we move along through this unit. But very briefly, so you have all this kind of in the back of your mind as we're moving forward through all of these technologies. XML is a structured language in which you can create other structured languages. Right now, I said in the previous unit that we're getting to a point where the analogy I've been using all along of metadata schemas as a language analogous with natural languages, human spoken and written languages, is that analogy is starting to break down. And here's another point where this just completely breaks down that analogy. There is no such thing as a natural language in which you can create other natural languages. I mean, I'm not a linguist, but my understanding is that that doesn't make sense in the context of human natural languages. But for metadata schemas, for the technologies on which metadata schemas are built, that actually does make sense. And XML is a structured language in which you create other structured languages. You can, for example, uh, create HTML in XML. HTML created in XML equal is XHTML. There is in fact a technology, a markup language called XHTML that exists in the world, and that is a rendering of HTML in XML. Just as an aside, HTML was originally written in SGML, the standard generalized markup language, right? So there are actually two versions of HTML. Well, there's more than two versions of HTML. HTML has been created in two different structured languages. SGML does many of the same things. XML does. We're not going to get into SGML here. Uh, so a DTD defines the elements of an XML document, right? So for example, when you use the, you know, bold element in HTML, that B equals bold is defined in a DTD. RDF is less a technology then it is kind of a model of how to declare elements and attributes of those elements. I will also say 
at the outset here that we are not going to get very far into XML. XML is simple in concept, but very large in practice. There's much more to XML than we actually need to deal with here to talk about creating metadata schemas. There are lots of good lessons and tutorials and books and classes about XML. And if you're interested in learning more, I will link to some of those that I think are particularly good. But for our purposes here, we will only go as far into XML as we need to, to be able to define namespaces for metadata schemas. Beyond that, there's lots more to XML that you can pursue if you find it of interest, but we will not go there. 